right, episode 57 is done. Yes. Uh, this will be the last one for a few weeks because we're headed to, well, I'm headed to Philippines and Singapore. Yeah. Back on the 14th, we might do a podcast that weekend or save it till the next weekend. Mm-hmm. Although we're kind of busy that next weekend too. We got that event. We can do it on Sunday. Whatever. We'll, we'll figure we'll, it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So um, yeah. stay tuned. Cool. In the meantime, check out our GTA 5 sessions. We're almost done. We're, uh, they're going to be on time release, so yeah. you can check them out. It'll, it'll be out. It'll be out, yeah. yeah. Even though I'm gone, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. Um, merchandise. Yeah, shop.glidemyfair.com. Pick up some teas on Teespring. Support the podcast. We mm-hmm. also got Patreon. Yeah. Patreon.com slash uh, Socratic Gamers. Um, yeah. Very cool. Like, share, subscribe, comment. A lot of good stuff. This song is called White Lines by My American Heart. It's about travel. Oh, that's, that's, why, that's why I chose it. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Because you're, you're going on the white lines. All That's all they see, just white lines. In the okay. Road. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, here we go. All right, cool. Two, one. And we're back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This is episode 57, last of the weekly roundup. Not last ever, but like last before we go on our hiatus. Um, I think we're... I get back on the 14th from my trip so we'll do one either that weekend or the weekend after right yeah or, or it might be, yeah we'll see what we do about that one uh, but yeah this is a regular episode where we talk about um, five things from the week that we thought were kind of cool mm-hmm. and just dissect them in the usual manner that we always do yes so uh, first on the docket what you got Vish so the title I guess what you call like a title of the article sabotage so nice. who did the sabotaging isn't that a game Sabotage? I don't know. Could be. Mm. All right. Uh, so, like, Elon Musk sent out an email to his uh, mm-hmm. employees that uh, someone attended, em- attempted sabotage at Tesla. Okay. And he was, like, uh, changing codes in the manufacturing and, oh, like, snap. Dun, 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 selling, dun. selling information, they believe. Well, so, but who, who would they sell the information to? Because didn't he put them as, like, open, open codes? No, no. Well, didn't, didn't he put his schematics on the... Only certain things. Oh. Whatever, well, not the whole thing. I thought he put the whole thing out there and he's like, um, copy us. Remember that? He's yeah, like, but in certain ways, there's certain areas you can... They can figure it out themselves. You know what oh, I mean? So I guess some, some stuff, okay. yeah. Or maybe like how they do the manufacturing. Right, right, right. Could okay. be something that they're on, right? Because mm-hmm. it's a... It's a te- but like to... Uh, that could be the re- like some of the stuff. Right, right, right. Okay. But I don't know if it, where... Like, how long that lasted for, you know what I mean? Like, like, how much information he got out? Yeah. Could have been years. No, I mean, like, like when, when Tesla did it, like, how long it's supposed to be kind of valid for? I don't know. I don't know how that really works. Like, their code? Could be. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, my one of my oh. classmates from university said he was going to specialize in that because he was a software programmer. Yeah. And, uh, he, like, I, re- I remember I read about it in a textbook, and then he actually told me, like, oh, I think we were talking about, like, handcuffing and lock picking because he's going to take a lock picking course I'm like oh like why are you going to take a lock picking course yeah. like that's so awesome and mm-hmm. he's like yeah you could be a white hat hacker so there's like black hat black hat hackers and white hats and the black hat is the one who um, is like the illegal one but like companies will hire a white hat hacker yeah which is like uh, a person who is meant to hack the system okay or like try and get in like they're paid by the company to break their security systems I thought that was really cool Oh, yeah. So, yeah, he's saying here by the quotes, uh, damaging sabotage to our operations Mm -hmm. and then uh, send large amounts of highly sensitive data to third parties. Dun, 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 dun. So the employee has, so the employee has been questioned by Tesla. Uh Uh-huh. And Musk says that they're continuing to investigate whether the employee was working with others, too. We don't know. Could have been. Oh, no. uh, Background checks. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, like the GTA 5 game. Yeah. Remember when he, like, got in there? So, yeah, it must have said, it was in in the email that he sent out, it was like, he he questioned whether Wall Street short short sellers and oil and gas companies or the multitude of uh, gas and diesel car company competitors may have been involved. Oh, no. Wow. Right? So, this is their actual truck competitors that are like and like because not that long ago like the tesla was known as the most short shorted stock short short sell stock whatever mm-hmm. and then recently they lost a billion oh okay because the, from what tesla what elon said in that 
one interview uh, and like how they've reached mm-hmm. their uh, Model 3, um, or almost reaching their 5,000 a week, or I think they have reached now. Okay. That uh, that itself affected the, this, their, their stock went up, so that affects the short stock. So okay. they lost yeah. a, like a billion, right? So it could be those guys are trying to make the money back. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Got you. Trying to do yeah, something like that. So Holy we, yeah. yeah. So there's you know, they, he's thought he, like he said like if they're willing to cheat uh, on their about their emissions, maybe they're willing to cheat in other ways. Oh, touche. Which is not <laughs> he's uncommon. Them out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not uncommon. It's sort of like um, like um, the GTA Five game. Yeah. Like how how it's like a game. Like I, I said this on the. The one yesterday, but like mm. it's like very gangstery, you know, like because uh, you're following the yeah the goings on of like gang mob people oh. in the GTA yeah. Five, and it's like it's very like business oriented because like mm. how could we not expect them to do those same things? Yeah, that, you know, like lying, cheat, and steal. Yeah, true. So yeah, we don't, and then um, like not that many, not that uh, a few days later, I found out that uh, Tesla sues the guy. No way. For hacking, theft, and uh, leaking to the how press much, how and much? stuff. I don't know. Uh, that's still going through. Yeah. That's they bad. just started to... Like a billion dollars. Yeah, I think so. It's going to be huge, right? It has to be done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they got to like, figure out what, they exactly, what exactly was stolen yeah. and how much that's really worth in the long run kind of thing. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, they could... This guy, his uh, career is done. So. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> and he's going to owe money. He's going to be working at like... I don't even know if he'll be able to work at... I don't like think a, so. I don't think anyone will trust him anymore. No, no, but I mean, like, even at, like, McDonald's or something, he'll have to, like, put, like, he'll have to check mark the box of uh, recently incarcerated. Oh, they gave out the name, too. Of the, of the guy? Yeah. Say, sad life. Yeah, it says Tesla's lawsuit names Martin Tripp, a former process technician at the company's Gigig Factory in Nevada. Well. As the defendant. That's game over. Tesla claims the top, yeah, unlawful hack the company, confidential, top. Trade secrets, information, such and such. Oh, your life's done. Yeah. So. Well, you should you should get on YouTube or something, you know. Yeah. Probably get famous that way. Maybe. You know. <laughs> he starts like, starts teaching people how to fix things online or code things online. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's crazy. I was like, well, it's different. Already, like, 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 because they're doing well, then, then this kind of information. Cause at the yeah. same time, actually, what happened was they don't know if it was related, but. There was also a fire that started in one of the plants, a part okay. of a part of a plant. No, he set the fire. Well, they don't know. Like, could it be that, or it's just a coincidence? Because there has have they have had fires before, but again, all happening at the same time. Ooh, could it be the same guy? I don't know. Wow, this guy's like really going hard. I hope the people that paid that guy are paying that guy really well, because <laughs> your career is done. Yeah, I don't know. Unless he goes to like Europe or something, like a completely different country where they will never know. Who he is, you know what I mean? Uh, like well, Spain. Well, people-wise, no, but I think when he's applying for jobs. In the industry, yeah, of course, yeah. of course, yeah. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. So, yeah. you got anything else? No, that was it. That was uh, what I wanted to <laughs> talk about a little uh, bit. Speaking of uh, amazing technology, well, it looks like we're in the Space Force. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, um, I, admittedly, I didn't do any research past <laughs> seeing <laughs> seeing memes and um, and seeing a little bit of that, that announcement. Yeah. But uh, I thought it was, I think it's crazy that like we're we're heading in that direction finally because mm-hmm. that, that that one meme that I posted where is like Dave Chappelle, um, he was saying that he's like, we're, who cares about this crisis? It's about M A R S Mars. We're going to Mars. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like oh, it's totally like that. That was kind of like an Elon joke, but okay. at the same time, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know we're going. We're like, <laughs> our president's actually saying it now. You know, we're getting a space force. Well, that's not the same thing, though. No, I know, I know, but we're we're going into space. Like in in the joke, it's that he's like, "Why are we looking at yeah. social crises and stuff? Just focus <laughs> on space, right? Next frontier." Yeah, it's funny because it's like, yeah, that's really what's looks like it's gonna happen. You know, that's funny. Yeah, um, I don't know. It, you know anybody like like that? That'd be a hard mission. It's like, what would you even do? You know, would you fly around in there and like battleships and shoot them or? 
I, I don't know, like, man. Like, what do you mean by Space Force? about aliens? I yeah, don't know. Is, like, is it like a marketing thing? Is like, who's who's really going to... You know what I mean? Like, what are, I'm not even sure, yeah. Like, you know, like, what, what's the probably... technology? We don't have any jets that could fly around in space, like yeah. like the X-Wing fighters. We don't right. have any of that. Yeah. So, I, well, I mean, if we this do, pushes like, us to, to get into, you know, researching and making these sort of ships, yeah. I'm like, oh. But at the same time, it's like, then who else is going to be focusing on Space Force? Other countries like Russia, North Korea... Yeah, you know, like yeah. all those, all those like. But like you know, like but. China, like, but so yeah, it's like, but if if they do do it, America would be the one that put the most money in, right? And for sure, for sure. But it's like that. It sounds more tech. like because they're like, oh, we're gonna protect you from things in space. But it's no, it's more like we're going to use space warfare now. You know, mm-hmm. seems like it. Right. Um, yeah, but it'll be interesting. Like if we get a, I heard that I was listening to like different way. There's a TED talk. Uh, mm-hmm. podcast and they were saying like different ways that you can um, protect Earth from an asteroid yeah and it's like uh, the most the most effective way is to send like a small satellite and just place it near the asteroid and that will push it off course just enough oh yeah you know yeah. to like avoid oh, yeah, Earth that one. yeah but um but like with all that it's funny because like back then Armageddon like movies like Armageddon Deep Impact like our biggest fear was like a rock coming from space to like destroy us right yeah but then after listening to oh, I forgot his name the guy Solar Flares jo- not John Anthony West um I feel so bad that I forgot your name oh yeah, yeah Mike, okay. Michael Shermer no 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 that's, 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 that's like a different guy. Guy. that's a different guy but whatever yeah. he was on Joe Rogan yeah 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 Robert Shock Thank you, memory. Um, yeah, Robert Schock was mm-hmm. talking about, like, it's not the asteroid you want to worry about. It's the solar flare. Because right. there's no stopping that. It's going to fry all of our technology, mm. you know. But it's weird how, like, if you read things like like the Bible, they all have, like, an Armageddon. Like, Revelations at the end of the Bible is all about the Armageddon, the end of the world. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, yeah, these things... Like it's it's ingrained into our psych, psyche and yeah. our like social lore. Is it mm. that we? Is it that it's happened in the past, or is it just like a big fear that we all harbor? You know. For what? For for like the end of the world. Yeah, maybe it's just a big fear. We we just fear death so much that we think like I what's think, the yeah, worst case scenario. Moving, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting to think about. Hmm. So what you got next? So this is just you know a little something I think we talked about when we were kids, when we were younger. Oh yeah, you're saying this before, and I was like trying to think about it. Like, like I don't reality, think you would have. Yeah. Games, no, 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 no. Jet propulsion. You know, because, superpowers. No, wait, no, wait, no, no, no. There's wait, something wait. to do with video games, but it's not. Okay. It's not that. I, I just like to say, um, <laughs> you know when you know when we were growing up, and then every birthday, um, so like in in one of my tests for uh, asking for things. Yeah. So. Uh, in the wish thing when you you know when you blow up the candles you get like one wish mm-hmm. every year it would always be like give me superpowers right <laughs> and then and then they're like oh if you just pray to God for something you'll get it so I kept saying like she gave me superpowers yeah, yeah, yeah maybe he gave me an innocuous superpower of like thinking you know that's okay. kind of a cop out but right. like <laughs> it's just like cause, cause it, even in the bible if you ask God's name if you ask in God's name for something, yeah, 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 yeah. then you will get it. Right. Jesus said that multiple times, and it's like, where are my superpowers, bro? <laughs> I've been waiting. So when you said, like, something I've been asking for as a kid, I was like, oh, man, finally it's coming. Well, let's do it do the video games. Because I remember, like, when you used to play, you had an Xbox. Yeah. And I had, like, a PlayStation. Oh, 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 let me guess, let me guess. Uh, cross-compatibility of platforms. Y- yes, it is Thank so you. slowly coming. Jesus, I asked But there's someone this. that's really... So, yeah, there was, like, a video because of... Um, because of the game Minecraft. Wait, pause. Can I say thank you, Jesus? Because I'm Catholic. Yeah, why not? Because I, I mean, like, what what are the criteria for being Catholic? Right, belief. That's pretty much it. That's all they really ask you for. But mm-hmm. I went above and beyond that. I went to the Vatican. <laughs> I I read the whole Bible. Did, does he believe in the Vatican? Though? Uh, no. Actually, in in um in Matthew. Oh, no. Yeah. Matthew's gospel, Jesus' sermon on the mount, he says, you should not You should worship me in secret. The people that worship me in public are hypocrites. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Okay. Jesus said that. I didn't say that. Matthew, sermon on the mount. Oh. Look it up. So, yeah. 
Uh, so in this Minecraft thing, you know, they made a video, uh, both uh, Nintendo and Microsoft. Okay. That they use cross-platform. Okay, okay. And there's, I think, other games that are coming, possibly even Fortnite that we're playing right now. Okay. Uh, but the only one that's not involved and just having a lot of backlash to is PlayStation. Oh. They're the ones who are still like, uh, dude, I don't really want to do this. Because, yeah, because you get a lot of money from... Because, from, you know why? Because all the other systems are failing. PlayStation's yeah. the one that's amazing right now. Right. But I think that this move by by both Microsoft and Nintendo is having an wait, impact wait, on... Wait, is it going to be a merger? No, it's more like you can have any platform you want. Okay. Whatever game you play. Uh-huh. Like, so I like, you know, PlayStation, you may have liked Xbox or whatever, right? Okay. Yeah. I was you, an Xbox you play guy. The, yeah, because we play the same games, but we like different platforms. Yeah. But we can still play in the same universe. You know what's same, weird? Like, the, cause Xbox, you could do that. the yeah. Xbox is for North American kids, right? It's like, yeah. oh, I want to play football, basketball, and like... Right, yeah, yeah, RPGs, yeah, focus then, on Madden and everything. But then, yeah. like, because I went to, like, that, that high school that I went to, it was, it was weird to be, like, into anime. <laughs> okay. So, like, like... Um, you, that's why I didn't get the PS4 because it's like, oh yeah, like, uh, I don't right. want to be, wanna be yeah, that kid yeah. who like got the weird PS4 and then was into I like anime I got and Japanese the PS3. games. I didn't. It wasn't because I didn't really like. Oh, anime. PS3, yeah, not PS4. Yeah, I didn't really like anime that much. Right, I think the only watch was Bleach. Yeah, but well, I think it was just the games that were coming out that I liked. Yeah, but I I was like pressured by. Um, you know, <laughs> But then on the on the down low, I didn't even know that those other kids were like secret anime lovers. <laughs> you know, I went to a predominantly black high school. Yeah, so uh, I see. Yeah, and, and <laughs> they love that anime. They love their Naruto. Uh, that's true. Yeah. It right. Was, it and it's like, yeah, but back in the day, nobody it was like, talked oh, about it. Oh, this is, a, this is a, it's not cool. Yeah, it's not cool. Yeah, I was like, I was like, yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, watch some Naruto when I get home, and they're like, like, ew. <laughs> we play basketball. I'm like, damn, I gotta get that Xbox now. Right. Oh, that's funny. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what PlayStation. I think I think this, I think PlayStation now has to. Kind of. Show that they do. They might be pressured into doing this, yeah. Maybe. Because I think if the competition is doing it, and and this could actually affect them, because even though they have good games, affect PlayStation or. Yeah, this could actually affect them. I think. Uh, Because if if people are buying it. So wait, how does it work though? Because. Remember our our only gr- like our only um, obstacle we were talking about before for this was that like the code has to be similar, but you have different platforms using different codes. You can still do it. We can play PC games. Everyone's got different graphics cards. No, no, everything. but you have, to, you have to create. You have to create every time. Yeah. To be cross-platform. Yeah. Right. It's not like it's not. It's already being done. Okay. What do you mean? I mean, like Microsoft. Microsoft's already doing it. You could do it with Fortnite, but PlayStation. If you had a PlayStation account, you can't do it because PlayStation isn't allowing that. Oh, so it's only for the cross-platform games. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was for every. Oh, you game. mean like you buy whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. game? Oh, no, 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 like, no, no, no. Oh, that's sick. No, 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 because. No, oh. No, 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 but I'm like, if I buy... Uh, no, 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 I, I, I understand you, I understand Like, because this yeah. is online, I, right? I thought, I thought it was just... Whatever CD you bought? Y- yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I thought it was like, every game becomes all cross-platform games, so you can play any game off Well, they have to start allowing it. No, 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 they have to start allowing it, right? Yeah, no, no, I so get you. So what I'm saying, it's all... Uh, so basically... It was talked about, and there was little bits of this happening already, yeah. and then it's just, it's just PlayStation, because now officially there's like something... Oh, so I don't see why PlayStation would stop that. I thought it was gonna like. I thought it was gonna stop the PlayStation exclusives. But no, it, it won't stop the PlayStation no, exclusives. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, because that's that's how, that's what I'm saying. So like, why I, wouldn't they just jump on board? But they're not because I think they want to have. I think they're still. Ta- I, I think they're still talking about it, right. and they they see that there's a lot of backlash that's happening because yeah. of this Fortnite game that couldn't that you couldn't play. Oh, it's because on, on, it on Fortnite. Switch? Yeah, I think Fortnite caused a lot of problems. Is this game even good? Like, do you like do you like Fortnite? Uh, not really. I know, right? Like, it's. But this is the number one people, game, though, right why now. Do people like it? I don't get why people like it. it makes I don't know. It's free, first of all. Oh. It's free. Okay, uh, well, it's free. And it's, it's like a battle royale kind of thing. Like It's like um, PUBG. It was, it was like a copy of PUBG, but more childish. But I guess like people, like you have to just, it's like, it's like what kind of games do you like? Because my shooters, I love first-person shooters. I do not like third-person shooters because you get less precision, you know? Yeah. And uh, And also it's like, the, it seems kind of kitty. It does. You know, it's like, I don't really get, I don't get why it's so popular. Well, it's because the kids are playing it, because they don't have to buy it, right? 
They don't have to tell their parents to buy anything. I think, but like they've a, made a lot of money. You, it's not so they make money based like you buy like uh, outfits and things like that. Okay. And and they've made already like yeah, hundred million or something. Like Thanos or something. You play yeah, Thanos yeah, yeah, and they do the, doing like deals like that. I yeah. think that they're they're just. But you know, it's it's got like a it's got like a social stigma still, like video games, in certain like pers- like certain uh, people. Yeah, you know, like we're 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 on the type that like I think like people who think people play video games and stuff they they only just do that you know like they're you know like but a lot of people play video games that's why I like to see a lot of fighters playing video games now mm-hmm. you know because it's like it's breaking the social stigma but I was at this party one time and this guy was like we were talking about video games he's like yeah I like this uh, blah blah and I was like oh that's cool man and then he's like yeah I play a lot of a lot of um, Fortnite and then this other guy started ripping him hard <laughs> oh, oh no. no 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 sorry 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 he said to me that he likes Fortnite uh-huh. and then the other guy started ripping Fortnite he didn't hear that he played oh, Fortnite oh, 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 oh. so it's like but then the guy I don't want to bait out a scene and be like well yeah there was there, there was Fortnite? there was like uh, and there's like oh when, the stupid thing that these when, kids play now yeah when Fortnite just started to get like the the attraction Mm. Uh, there was like a lot of memes like oh they're just a copy of PUBG no but it's like it's like, like the adults level because I was like around I wasn't around kids you know I was like around yeah around adults. Not, not adults play this. yeah I know which is weird because it's like maybe it's good I mean I haven't tried it I mean I'm watching you play right now but yeah yeah uh, I don't know uh, it is like number one up there on Twitch now <laughs> they've taken over yeah I, I don't know why like, PUBG is not as uh, I don't know why there's so much resistance to video games you know what I mean? It's all it's like everything's in moderation, you know? People are like, Oh no, I like to I like to like exercise my fantasy by reading a book. It's like, yeah, good good luck with yeah, that. Yeah, that was like hundred years ago. Right? I know, right? Like, yo, keep up with the times. Like you haven't played any video games that have amazing stories like Last of Us. Exactly. You know, Uncharted. Yeah. You know. And that's what I want. Places to keep back, like people stigmatize books. They're like, yeah. Oh, you're just your head's in the clouds all day. Mm-hmm. Farm with me. Yeah. You know? Oh, true. I don't know. I think I think if they introduce universal basic income, like you'll have like the artists like making stuff, which will be like, like I'd fall in that category. Right. Um, but you'd also have a bunch of people who would just sit at home and play play all day. Yeah. Which wouldn't be a bad thing. I mean, you should stream at the same time if you want to make it. That's true, but then if everyone's a streamer, it's like. Oh, well, it's already trying to happen, right? That's true. It is. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we're streaming right now. You know what it is? It's it's the. It's the connectivity and the ability to be heard, right? Because, like, yeah. back then, it's like all my ideas would only be shared with you, but now you can share them with the world, mm-hmm. you know? And I think, like, that ability to give yourself a voice is, like, empowering to a lot of people. Yeah. Although, to the purists who don't find that empowering, you know, that I feel like that's weird to me, too, you know? Because mm-hmm. it's like, it's like, well, why why do you hate on the fact that other people just want to share ideas with other like-minded people? <laughs> why would we limit our, why would we limit our like discussion to people that don't think like you? Yeah. You know, that, that'd be kind of bad as well. Cause then it's like, if we don't have this like connective pool, then like if I shared my idea and nobody that lived around me agreed with me, I'd be the pariah. I'd be like kicked out, you know, they'd be like, Oh, why do you think it like this? Yeah. But then online, but that's also a bad thing too, because then you can get extremists, you know. Yeah, that's true. It's well. <laughs> uh, it, it's a touchy, sensitive subject. Yeah. But I think we're going through the the growing pains of it right now. Mm. Like online dating. When I was uh, I was a kid, and then you heard about online dating, you're like, ew, that's so weird. And then like now I hear it's like quite popular now. I know, right? Then I hear like other people talking about like, oh, online dating so like cool, whatever. And you're like, oh. Well, I think changed. there's still a stigma though. No, no, it's that. no. Uh, in in our generation, yes, but uh, like like Tara's sister was talking about it, yeah, and, and she's like, yeah, like I wouldn't mind. I'm like, whoa, that's like when I heard that, I was like, whoa, I didn't think that way when I was your age. Mm-hmm. You know, I was thinking that's weird, but it's because the technology wasn't there yet. You know, but like now, like uh, another yeah, good yeah. example is like uh, some people, some like girls I know are like, oh, I they, there was there was a couple of people that said that but it was a weird thing to say you know but now like open-mindedness is really growing Mm -hmm. it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of world we live in like like even some of the jokes that you and i say like i feel so outdated 
not outdated, but I feel so like from a different era. Yeah. Because we'll laugh about it, and then now it's like SJW, and you know, you're like, <laughs> oh, I shouldn't say that because you know a lot of people are like, is a joke though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, or, are we yeah. gonna nerf the entire world? We can't do that. You know. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, there's a limit. Um, I heard this one question of like, uh, free speech versus hate speech. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. I didn't know. I, di- I don't think the person I was listening to ever came to the conclusion about it, but they said in Canada there's a there's a differentiation between free speech and hate speech. So we actually have a law for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, I don't know what the, but, but you, what the, it's hard to... Break it? No, no, no. It's hard to know what is that, though, right? Like, I know, yeah. how do you tell what is... Free speech I think we talked about this before, but... Yeah, what is... Free like, where's that line? We, we have laws against it, though, so, like, you can go to jail for it. Yeah, I know, but, I like, what are... Laws are. But that's, like, that's I, like I saying, think like, it's anything, hard to... you know? Like, we, we drive, so we know the laws of the road. But nobody really gets educated, unless you took, like, civics, but yeah. even that... Like, so no, did you... even in there. Did, like, we mean the laws, yeah. Yeah, so did, Like, even in laws, so there's, there's... It's... Uh, things we don't know. Yeah, but it's, like, where are the rules? How do we know what the exact no, rules we, are? What I'm saying is, like laws are so like buried that that's why you need lawyers because if you don't know the law you don't you could be breaking it like we don't know right we're not yeah, educated yeah, yeah, yeah. in what we can and can't do mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like like uh did you know that if somebody breaks you probably know this but if somebody breaks in your house and they get hurt they can sue you yeah you told but me it's this, like bro yeah. you broke into my house though no no but they can Before. sue you though yeah yeah, yeah and yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. i remember like i learned that in university i was like whoa that's that's a trip you know, like, but you broke into my house. But my professor is saying that, like, yeah, usually what happens is, like, uh, the lesser of two evils. Like, you'll both sue each other, but then they'll end up owing you more, you know. Or, like, I, I just read this because, like, um, I was asked, like, what are – because I teach martial arts. So it's, like, what is um, – what do you call that? Uh, not non-lethal, but, like, what is, like, use – like, what what's the force you can use? Right. Like, the legal limit or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they said that – all fights when i read it online uh all fights will go to litigation right so if you if you defend your defend yourself like what's considered self-defense if if you hit me and i fight you back we're both going to sue each other Mm -hmm. but then it's up to the judge who figures out who's in the wrong and most of the time the judge will side with the person that got hit first right but you're still going to have to go to litigation Mm -hmm. so even if we in a bar fight and i beat you up because I was protecting myself. Yeah. Like, I have to go to jail. I have not jail, but I have to go to, like, court to defend my point of view. Okay. You know? Mm-hmm. I think that's kind of ridiculous. It should be like, well, what happened? And then you should be able to know right away. Like, you shouldn't, he shouldn't, who hit me shouldn't have the right to get, like, a lawyer and then, like, defend the fact that yeah. I hit him. It's like, dude, you hit me first. <laughs> yeah. It's a weird world. Do you any more on that, uh, cross-platform gaming no i mean i think i just think that it's now playstation smooth what they're gonna say yeah hopefully hopefully they uh side with jumping on the bandwagon on that one that'd be kind of cool i'd like that i think they'll need to it'll yeah. probably be happening in the next generation versus nice. this generation maybe. oh so they'll have like some sort of compatibility like they'll build it into the system it's something like that i guess you I said we're coming upon a new uh new era of gaming right like every five years we get a new system yeah, maybe four, yeah, five, six years now. That's so how it was. How that's how it now? used to be. It's almost four, maybe almost five now, I think. Oh, and nice. So it'll be in another couple year, or they'll have to announce it, then it'll come out like a nice. year later or something. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. Yeah, well, we I'm already excited. know they're working on one. So I'm excited. That'd yeah. be cool. That'd be cool. But it's like, maybe they'll just integrate like heavy VR into it. You know? Yeah, they might. I think they will. Because like, where, where are you gonna go with this? Our new system has even better graphics than the ones before. It's like, bro, did you not see the new Last of Us trailer? I was amazed. No, yeah, well, it'll be better than that. I know, but it's like, holy crap! How far are we going? We're going all the way. Yeah. To realism. But it's weird because like, then you you yearn for like games like this where it's like. Yeah, it's this like, still you know, works. See this? No, this, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Saying. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's like your your mind. Like, there's a limitation to how real it can get, yeah. you know? It's more about the gameplay now, because mm. we know graphics. Like, we've already got a standard limit for graphics. Yeah. You know? Even this is, like, kind of cartoony, but it's like, this is... This looks like a good game to my eyes. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so next we got Unsolved. What's that? It's uh, the new... 
uh, the new <gasps> document, uh, not documentary, dramatization on uh, Netflix okay. with uh, with Tupac. They're trying to solve Tupac and Biggie's murder, and uh, yeah, it's really good. Uh, we're currently on episode four right now. Yeah, episode four, um, and it's it's got me hooked. I haven't been this hooked in a long time. <laughs> I remember I was like watching the first episode. I was like, eh, okay. And then I was like, oh, damn, it's getting good. Oh, damn, it's getting good. Oh, damn, it's getting good. Yeah. I think it's because we already feel for these characters. Yeah, we know so much, too, about them. Exactly, yeah, yeah, But it's seeing it in this way yeah, at different trade, times, yeah. too, is like, it's really interesting. How they're yeah, for it. sure, for sure. Um, like, the way they've, like, filmed it, obviously we care, but, like, all eyes on me. I tried watching that. couldn't finish it. I was like, oh, this is, this is not for me. Yeah, it was on Netflix, right? I think. These eyes aren't for me. <laughs> but uh, I think the the craziest takeaway yeah. from that whole thing that I've gotten so far is that I did not know that Tupac was only 25 when he died? 24, 24 he died when he was yeah. 24. And, uh, or sorry, Tupac was 25. Biggie was 24. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, bro, like, because now that I'm 29, 20, 30, you're like 30-something. Mm. Uh it's like it's crazy to think that like we're older than them and it's like i at this age i'm like oh i'm starting to feel more mature yeah you know but like when i was 25 i had no idea what was going on like how can you ask a kid because a lot of people are like oh he's a prophet you know tubac was a prophet i'm like maybe but he's also a kid yeah you know? they were just kids yeah there's a reason why like you know 33 was the prime age like listen jesus died that's <laughs> okay. when, like a lot of people like a lot of like considered prophets or die i don't know any like 12 year old prophets you know mm. all the philosophers were like pretty old too yeah so it's like i think i personally think like in his death we've over glorified him you know, not like i mean that's that's pretty negative to say like, but we generally will right, might do that because we're like oh he could have been this great he could have been this and like our, our imagination takes over but if you actually look at historical evidence of people that have have like continued on like look at puff daddy he was good and then now how's his music right you know what i'm saying it's like you're gonna hit a point where your music's starting to suck mm. you know so like basically all we did was we he like we we outlived or he outlived and we outlived his bad years you know where it's like right. oh your music wasn't that good mm. you know but where would he be today you know maybe he'll be like a jay-z because jay-z's music is still really good one of the few people that has like fire. Didn't he come up with a new one? Jay Z's album, with no, the, Beyonce, was, uh, the Carters or something. I don't know. I it just came out it. actually. Oh really? Yeah. I'll check it out. Apple Music. Yep. He hates Apple Music though. But it's on there. It's title. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll well, check it out. Cool. You know, Jay Z. Jay Z's so money's good. there, right? Not on title. That's true. That's true. <laughs> For anyone wondering, title was Jay Z's attempt at making a Apple Music version. Yeah. But yeah. I think they were really found out like. Uh, like they paid for fake views or something happened. I don't no know. Way. Uh, no way. I don't know. I'm, I'm, yeah. Don't oh, quote, don't quote me like, on that. Just that's like, a very common marketing thing, though. Like no, I know, I know. But it's then this like if that comes out, it just looks bad. No, for sure. But you, you know stuff like Britney Spears. Um, they were getting marketers to write like reviews, like pretend like they were yeah. little girls who loved the music. Mm. It was like a commonly. No, 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 yeah, yeah. But it's just like if that comes out, especially when it's bad. It's for still, sure, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like, if it was, like, big, no one would care. Okay, whatever. It's you, still, you know it's Paramore? Good. Yeah. Um, so, like, uh, they They, they heard... were signed on them, right? With them? Or no, was it something no. else? Or something something else. else. Paramore um, was that girl, like, uh, early 2000s. I was mm. a huge fan of Paramore. And um, then when the guitarist left, he, he wrote this, like, open letter. He was, like, super salty about it. Oh. Um, but he said that initially they wanted Haley to be... A pop singer okay because like like back in the early 2000s everyone was having a band you know and like they mm -hmm. just wanted like create oh my american heart if you guys listen go check out that music it was so awesome but yeah so paramore came around, around that time where like mm -hmm. garage bands were so big you know so like instead of making her a pop celebrity yeah uh they they started her off as being a garage band person. It's like, oh, look, we just found this amazing gospel singing girl <laughs> who has an amazing voice. And like, right. blah, blah, blah. Oh, man, I want to go listen to music now. Damn. Uh, uh, that was their initial plan to get her on the market. Yeah. Because then she started to go solo, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, she's going solo because, um, because like, they, their initial plan was to make her a pop star. 
Oh, okay. So now she's doing like pop songs, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm. they, because they're like, well, the Britney Spears model is already done. We can't come out with another Britney Spears, right? Yeah. So th- that's why they tried the underground scene. Oh. Yeah, but she was signed with a major label the whole time, allegedly, <laughs> according to this guy's um, this guy's outing email. Oh, okay. Hmm. But he's also really salty. But then oh. recently, because the brother of that guy because yeah. the two brothers left the band and then now the brother's back in the band so mm-hmm. I'm like so now it gets me thinking like one you sold out your brother you're <laughs> one the other, you sold out the guy that was salty yeah and two what are they paying you um, yeah. yeah that's true and everyone likes know. a redemption story hmm. it's like oh they were like they broke up and now they're back together to make <laughs> the most amazing music of all time right Right, <laughs> but the genres totally switched. Like it's like super pop now. It's like electro pop, but in the beginning it was like emo music. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of bands have a hard time trying to stick to their original um, sound, you know. And then I know they say like, oh, it's because we need to evolve as people, but it's like, do you need to evolve or are you trying to follow what's trendy? Like J Cole was mm. saying, you know. Or yeah. It's like, he keeps, I think you need he keeps to... his music real no matter what. Okay. That's why it still sounds the same. It's like that, that like rap gangster. Not gangster. It's like that like hip hop vibe. Yeah. You know, whereas like you look at, it was in False Prophets, you know, that song that he put out mm-hmm. where he's calling out basically Kanye. He never said it was Kanye, but <laughs> you look at the lyrics, it's definitely Kanye. Okay. How like your music changed dramatically. Yeah. You know, you used to talk about real things, and now you're, like, trying to just follow the trend. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So Tupac probably could have fallen into that trap. Could have. Same with Biggie. <gasps> Maybe. Who you, like big, who you like better, Biggie or Tupac? I was a Tupac fan. Yeah. Why? Why? I liked his... His flow? His lyrics. Yeah, yeah true. He's speaking real truth. Yeah. But, like, I like Biggie. Had, I got, better, it, it was like, the thing, you know, flow. the East Coast, West Coast, that you're just kind of making. Yeah, so dumb. You know <laughs> that that you know what that is? That's like people controlling the market. Yeah. You know. Yeah, because they were good friends. That's the thing. Like, yeah, from, if you watch, if you watch the. Yeah, I knew that too, like for a long but, time. But that, university. Yeah. And gotten your first entry level job mm-hmm. at that age. You know, just because yeah. you're talking about like realness, it's like. But, like, I don't know. They were definitely influential. It's just, it's crazy when you think that they were just children. It's true, they are just children. Like, what do you really know at 25? That's true. If you're, like, 50 and you're speaking truth, it's like, damn, you got some years on you, bro. Yeah. Because he was, like, he's pretty, like, aggressive. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, but that's all you knew. It's sort of like 50 Cent, you know, he was really aggressive. And then he went to Africa, he's like, damn. We weren't that poor. (laughs) Yeah, he's like, what are we talking about right now? (laughs) Yeah, see, yeah. And then he started giving, like, all this money to Africa because he knew. Yeah. You know. And that's probably where – that's why, like, if he said, like, oh, 50 cents a profit, I'd be like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll give you that one. I, he's not a profit. I'm just saying. It's like – Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's yeah. like, yeah, because he, he's old enough and worldly enough to have seen a bunch of things, you know. hmm Did freaking Tupac go to Sierra Leone? No. He stayed in his, like, ghettos, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. So, okay. Final thoughts on that one? Or? Well, I mean, what else can you say um, about that? It was a great show. To, I think I think there's people should watch that. They need to remaster the music and make better songs. Oh, who? Who are you talking about? The, the, the music owners of uh, Biggie and Tupac. They oh. should remaster it. Remaster it? Yeah, create some new beats and stuff. That'd be sick. Layer it. <laughs> Get Rick Rubin on that. Rick Rubin is the uh, guy who makes Jay Z's music. Oh right. Well, he does the Yogi. He's like a the beard guy. Yeah, the beard guy. He's yeah, he like does Eminem too, right? Yeah, he no, but he does like Beastie Boys. He does like he does, he does everybody. Like, does everyone? Yeah, he's doing like a, in one of the documentaries I was seeing. He was doing like a. I knew him because he. I knew of his name because of Eminem. We used to talk about it in one of those skits and stuff. Rick Rubin. Rick yeah. Rubin's a prophet, bro. <laughs> he's in. Uh, he's in the book that I read, um, The Truth by Neil Neil Strauss uh-huh. um, Neil Neil talks to Rick Rubin for life advice because oh. Rick Rubin's a freaking OG yogi oh is that right yeah hmm. yeah he's a cool guy 
Uh, all right, so philosophical question of the week. We talked something similar about this, but I have like a follow-up question. Okay. Um, so is consciousness independent of the brain? Is your ability to become conscious of something, actively aware, independent of the brain? Uh, it's dependent on the brain, I think. It's dependent, right? Yeah. Because how would you have receivers in order to um, know that you're conscious of something? Yeah. I think the best explanation for this was uh, you need a central nervous system mm-hmm. to know something's happening. So without a central nervous system, you are not conscious of it. Right. Right? Uh, so, like, good example, if I numb you and I do an operation, did you know that you were um, operated on? But, yeah, um, hence why we use numbing agents, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so now, now my follow-up question to that is, so we, we've concluded, no, you need the, you need the brain. Yeah. In order to know that you're conscious of something. Yeah. Okay. Is consciousness independent of the mind now? Independent of the mind? Yeah. So the brain is the physical property, and we know that without the brain, you couldn't create consciousness. What was that? Uh, R. Oh, man. The R. Reticular. Uh, reticular. The RAS. Reticular activating system. And her chair is like so broken. pissed. Yeah. She's like, don't, don't, don't use any of my terms. <laughs> <laughs> but the the reticular activating system, the RAS system, if that's broken, you have a hard time coming back into wakeful consciousness from right. sleep. Yeah. So if it if it's injured, if it's like hurt, you'll fall into a coma, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm using this verbatim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I did not Google it. And okay. I'll get a lot of like uh-huh. hate. <laughs> for saying it incorrectly. Right. Um, yeah. So we know that the brain is therefore dependent. Oh, the consciousness is therefore dependent on the brain. Okay. Because if you mess up a function in the brain, yeah. um, you mess up consciousness. Mm-hmm. You can lose consciousness. Okay. So is consciousness dependent on the mind? Uh... So the mind is... A byproduct of the brain yeah as well yeah okay so is it are they separate things you say are they separate things yeah is the mind in consciousness because like oh you can be conscious of something but not in mind so do you wait, what are you asking me so like can you be consciously aware of something without the mind no. Right. Yeah. Why? Because if the mind is broken? Is that uh, what you're saying? No, 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 because the brain, the brain can be broken. Okay. And then it messes up your perspective. Uh-huh. But the mind is the observer of actions and thoughts. Okay. Right? The mind's the thinking part. Yeah. So my, my perspective on this is you can't be conscious of anything without the mind. So the consciousness relies on both the brain and the mind. Why? Because the mind is what allows you to travel back and forth through time. So how do you even know you're conscious of something? So if you have a thought and you're like, oh, I am conscious of that, you would have had to go back into your mind. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like um, the mirror, right? You cannot be conscious of anything unless you have the mirror showing you that something happened. The mind is the mirror to actions and events thus allowing you to become conscious of it. Okay. Do you agree? Sh- sure. Does it make guess. sense? Yeah, I guess so. Because it's like, people are like, oh, like, consciousness, like, the whole universe is consciousness, and, like, you can you can go against the, like, you can supersede consciousness through your brain, or you're, you can supersede, super, like, you, you can go past, um, you can perceive things through sheer consciousness outside yeah. of the mind. Okay. But how can you perceive things without the mind? Yeah. This is what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. So. What are they talking about? What are they talking about, right? Yeah. So it's like, but this is where I think we get into like the mystical misunderstanding of things. And we try and like, Uh we try and romanticize this notion of consciousness, but it's like, no, if you really knew what you're talking about, it's just your mind acting on your mind. Yeah. Within your brain. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You couldn't be conscious of something without the mind's ability to tell you that you're being conscious of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Even on a subconscious level, it's being stored somewhere in the mind. Yeah. Right? 
So, yeah. This is my clarification on it. Okay. So consciousness is not some mystical thing. It's just a level of the brain. It's a level of the mind. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. That's all. I can agree, agree with that. It's in the mind. Yeah, it's, all, it's all in your brain. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all a byproduct of the mind that is manufactured through the brain. Okay. Right. And then they'll say something like your consciousness will transcend past your body. Right? So, like, if you die, where does your consciousness go? Mm-hmm. But what consciousness? Yeah. Because without the brain creating it, how would it have anything to perceive? Yeah. Because it's like, it's like, well, where would it go? What do you mean, though? You wouldn't even know if it came back. Mm-hmm. Because without the, the vessel, you know, yeah. it wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to say, like, oh, the consciousness left the body. Mm-hmm. Because your, your mind and your brain would have had to tell you that. Your mind would have had to tell you that, and your brain would have created the mind. Yeah. Yeah. If you're listening to this and you're, like, so confused, just, like, replay this part. Many times. Whole, yeah. <laughs> Makes logical sense, right? Sure. So when you die, your consciousness goes nowhere because your consciousness was... In your brain. In your brain. So if the vessel dies... That's the hard news about life. You're going to die, and you're going nowhere. Yeah. Right? Yeah, no. Yeah. But see, this is why, you know, Christianity is so popular, because they believe that your consciousness lives on past the body, because Jesus did it. Like the soul, yeah. Yeah, like the soul. Because yeah. what is the soul if not consciousness? Your ability to become aware of something. Okay. But here's the trick. Uh-huh. Everything in the universe is aware of something. Oh, okay. The dog's totally conscious. Yeah. The plants are conscious, but on a different level. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, the universe is made up of consciousness. Yeah. To that degree. But it's like, yeah, you are in unique you're in, you your your brain creates a unique representation of consciousness. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So enjoy your experience while it lasts. Yes. Yeah. And if you're fearing loss, you're like, oh, but like, if I die, then where does it all go? Yeah, your brain's the one telling you that you should fear dying and all that. Do you think the animal fears its own death? It doesn't think about reincarnation. It's just living. Mm-hmm. Because it knows that it's part of the universe, as we are. Yeah. But we've, we've separated ourselves from the universe. Okay. Thus, we think we have something to lose. But how can you lose something that you've always been a part of? Uh, yeah. Make sense? Mm-hmm. Right? It's like, no, I am the universe, though. Like, I'm made of the same chemicals we only see separation visually yeah but if we could see air we'd realize that there's no separation between us if we could only see through atoms you wouldn't be able to dif- differentiate right yeah because we're all atoms mm-hmm. so don't be afraid of leaving something you can never leave damn it's so ominous when you talk about stuff like this yeah <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> people hate to hear that stuff. That's why we did create, like, life after death through Jesus. And that's why it's the most popular, uh, Christianity is so popular right now. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go to heaven or hell, bro? You know what? Hold on. Mm. It's just an analogy. So, so people try to be ultra conscious, right? So we start off with this consciousness of death, yeah. right? We're like, oh, heaven, like, we, we're going to die. Mm-hmm. And then we created this thing called religion, where it's like, oh, um, you can go life after death, but there's heaven and hell. And then people try to be super conscious, and they're like, no, that's an allegory of heaven and hell are already here on earth. (laughs) But then you have to be super, super conscious and realize, no, no, it wasn't an allegory. He was literally trying to make you believe in heaven and hell. Yeah. Right? But then why? Yeah, we're just trying to, like, change up the meanings we're trying to change the meaning because if you look at the original meaning reality yeah but if you if you look at the original meaning it's like no no he was trying to use that as a tool people still want to believe in religion as Mm -hmm. a valid source yeah so they'll use anything to make it valid okay it's like it's like no but we know that there is no heaven and hell it's not real scientists will say but then the scientist still wants to believe in it yeah Right? Because it's an innate feeling, right? He's uh-huh. like, oh, like, I grew up with this. I should still believe it. So, no, no, it's, it's not literal truth. It's an allegory. Yeah. But then even that is your cognitive dissonance to just not let it go. <laughs> Why can't we just be like, no, it's wrong. Let mm-hmm. it go. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, 
it's true heaven and hell is a perspective, sure, but he never said that. Yeah. You have to look at what he literally said. Right. You know when people are like, oh, you have to read the Bible as an allegory? Mm -hmm. No, no, that's you trying to make this thing still useful in today's age. But why can't we just move past it and look at things that are more effective, Mm. more more honest? True. Yeah, all right. That was my final my final thing and that's where we're going to leave you with while I go to one of the most religious places on earth Philippines very Catholic there cool and then I mean yeah. it's, it's all over the world right even India too what Catholicism no Hinduism no no but I'm speaking about no I mean like no it's quite religious there too but the Bible I'm talking about the Bible oh uh, yeah. yeah specifically the Bible. specifically that yeah yeah yeah. True. But if you look at it, they were a Spanish colony, and who's the one who believed in Catholicism and spread it? Spain. That's what I was saying. Oh, so, well, like, you know, that's why I don't get it. It's not really your religion. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not somebody else. It's not indigenous to the region. Yeah. You know, and if you, all, if you also read it, it's about the Israelites, not about Filipinos. <laughs> so. Right. Yeah. Interesting world. Very interesting world built on fear hmm. but that's why I like the Taoist approach because the Taoist knows that it's all it's all all if that made sense I know it made sense to me but you know what I'm saying like it's, mm-hmm. it's all it's all true and false because you're you're making it up yeah yeah alright until next time see you guys in four weeks four weeks but till then We'll have, like, GTA in between, right? Yeah, I'll I'll set them up. Yeah. I was, like, releases and stuff, but, yeah. Check out Check out GTA. Check out past episodes. And uh, follow us. Yeah. Along the journey. Take it easy. Yes. Bye. Peace.